There are many ways to do this, but you will actually find that ABF, I mean, you can use ABF, but, uh, get F, you know, I need to merge it first and then I gotta move it over again. Um, it kind of works, but UV mapping is not really all that. So yeah, you, you can do that. And it's actually not too bad. The ABF one. Um, you know, let's just try. Why not? Let's just try PLG because why not? No special things here. Make UV. That is actually a touch better. So, this is, um, if you ran ABF and then relaxed it, you would get somewhat of this result, uh, something close to this result. So this is not too bad. The thing is, okay, so what you will do after having done that is that you will send it to another application. Armor paint, for example. Okay, so you can see what armor paint is doing. It's twenty dollars or twenty-five. And I mean, just get it because you, you can't do this in life. Yet. And even in Blender, it's kind of like a hassle. So, three uh, D core, three D codes is another level, but uh, this is twenty-five dollars and it works okay. This is one, two ways of UV mapping. Could go another way about it also, and that is um, if we say, a planner on the set, then you say create, uh, and it looks okay, but it's actually not quite, because it's best to go something like this, create, the midpoint here is off, so let's zero that out. Eight. There we go. Um, so yeah, all I need to do now is scale that a bit and move that up. But um, this texture is going to be very distorted. Let's have a look at it. Uh, let us go slide. So, but this is another alternative to doing it. So you can see that this is just smooth looking at it from the side. And what I'll do is we'll go like that. And we will scale that based on action center selection, for example. Go like this, you can see it's a touch better. Then I'll. Uh, oops, that was wrong shortcut. Um, really? Connected. Oh yeah. This, so you can see this manually. Tweaking. The UV map, it's not really a fantastic way to go, but kind of works. So yeah, you could do that also. And then send it over to another application. But yeah, you don't really want to do that kind of stuff in in Lightweight. Because you will have to project it from 
the texture from, for example, this angle or this angle. So, projecting textures like that, you really need to use another application. And the cheapest one you will have is Armor Paint. <laughs> 